Hey guys, Rani here, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Today I'm coming back at you with another tutorial and today we are going to learn how to create clickable PDFs. So clickable PDFs could be very interesting for one specific reason. Well, actually they can be very interesting for a lot of different reasons. But one way uh, that I use them is when I need to send a uh, business proposals to my customers for example or when i apply for a project when i'm trying to get a job or to land a client i will send a business proposal and most of the time i will insert a couple of pages with clickable links so this is uh, this could be super useful to create a portfolio for example so let me show you uh, how you can do this so let's use the presentation format Okay, and start something from scratch. Let's say you need to create a portfolio. All right, so you need to show um, some of your work. So for me, in my, in my case, I am a video producer. So I have a bunch of different videos that I like to show in my portfolio, right? So one way of doing this would be to create your portfolio and then uh, insert links to the YouTube videos or the Vimeo videos. Uh, videos, sorry, depending on where you like to host your videos. So I'm going to show you this with a PDF that I created. Actually, actually, one of the proposal I sent for a project. Uh, let me find it. Oh, it's not on this account actually. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to recreate it from scratch. Basically, what I did is I used a couple of frames like this one. So I'm going to keep the aspect ratio. Oh, I messed up here. So let me do this again. I'm going to hold my shift button. Yes. And so you see if I if I don't use the shift button, I can go up and down and kind of mess up, <coughs> mess up with the aspect ratio. But if I keep my finger on the shift button, then the aspect ratio is respected. So what, that's what I want because I want to insert videos in each of these frames. OK, so let's create something about this size and duplicate this, let's say four times. I'm going to position this in the four corners of the safe zone. Like this and one more. Okay, like this. When you create clickable PDFs, it's always a good idea to tell your audience what they need to do, right? If you don't tell them, then they might not know that these are clickable elements and they might miss it when they read the, when they open your PDF. So you, you want to drive their attention to the fact that they can click on each of these elements to kind of start something, to lead them somewhere. All right, so I'm going to create this by having this square right here that I'm going to position here in the middle, something like that that attracts the eye, right? So I'm going to use a flashy color. And this one can be this color, for example. Then you can style your page to your taste, but I like to use a kind of a flashy color. And then what I'm going to do is to position here four thumbnails for four of the videos that I created in order to explain, okay, these are some of the videos from my portfolio. And then once I have this, I will need to let people know this actually is my portfolio. So maybe I can move everything down a little bit, or maybe I can reduce the size of the whole thing. So I have enough space to add a title to this page. So let's add a title. Let's say 48 of size, something like that. Okay. I'm going to use a font that I like, which is called prompt. Let's use prompt bold. And let's call this Ronnie's video portfolio. Okay, so that's a simple title. You will have to do some more research about this, but uh, this is just to show you in the example. I'm going to use the same color, stay consistent with my colors. And then I'm going to uh, add my thumbnails here in each of these. Uh, placeholders. So for this, I need to import some of the thumbnails. I have a couple here of my courses, so I'm just going to use this. The Canva Master Course, the Canva for Android course, the Flat Icon course, and the Branding course. 
All right, so Runny videos portfolio, we can change this maybe, we can just use Runny's online courses. So now we have a page with my online courses. I can reduce the size of this little guy right here, make sure it is still aligned with the rest of my, my design here. Maybe I can turn it around a little bit to make, no, it doesn't look good in this instance. So what I need now is some text to be inside this box. So click on the images to see preview, for example. So that's my text that's going to be inside this box. I need to reduce the size of this text. It's a little bit too big, let's say 18, a little bit too small, let's see 21. Maybe change this for prompt family. So let's type in prompt, let's go for prompt light. Okay, maybe less spacing in between the words and I can make this bigger to 28, that's too big. Let's say 24, okay, that works. So I'm going to do something like this. Click on the images to see preview, preview. Maybe I need to make this box slightly bigger so my message here is actually more readable, more legible. Okay, click on the images to see preview. Okay, so this looks already pretty good. What I can do now is to add a background to this page, make it look more interesting. Uh, I like to use this one with the white color or the gray color, something like this. So now it starts to be interesting. Okay, let's say we can spend more time on this. We can add some uh, interesting features, like for example, gradients, and we can have something like this, for example, that will come here under my title. Make things look good, you know. Then you can select all of this and kind of move it down a little bit. Then you can play with this and uh, play with different colors. So make it look good, basically. I can move this down a little bit. Okay, something like that. I'm not saying this is the coolest thing in the world. I'm just showing you uh, on the fly. So now I have these four different uh, placeholders here. I'm going to insert links to all of these in order to uh, make them clickable. So I want these to lead to my Udemy courses actually. So I can simply go to my Udemy and then grab the different links from my different courses. So if I type in Canva, for example, I can find my first course here, the Canva master course. Okay, so I can grab the link, which is this part, and I'm going to paste this on this picture. So in order to paste the link, you select your element, then you go to the link icon right here, push it, and then you simply paste your link on the photo. And I'm going to do the same for the three other elements. I'm going to speed up the video because you don't need to see all this actually, but it's exactly the same process. And there, I just finished pasting the four links in this uh, slide right here. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to export this in the PDF format to show you how it looks like once it's exported. Of course, it doesn't have to be only a one page. Uh, I usually create a full presentation with different pages. It can go from anywhere from a couple of pages to 25 plus pages, but your portfolio could be inside that presentation and you would be able to see, uh, for instance, the different clickable elements in that presentation. But it needs to be exported uh, in the PDF format. This won't work in the, um, in the JPEG or PNG format. It will only work in the PDF format and in the export as a website. So if you want to export this as a website, the link will be clickable as well. So here I have a, an element here uh, that I will purchase because I actually like this square. I'm going to purchase this as a multi-use because I use this all the time. If I used it like a $1 element, I could only export it as of today and for 24 hours. But because I'm going to be using this square uh, regularly in my design, I like it, uh, I'm going to pay for the extended use. So I'm going to pay and download this PDF.
All right, so now the PDF is right here. I'm going to show it in folder, copy this on my desktop, paste right here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like in PDF format. So you can see when I hover over each of these images, I have the little hand here showing that I can actually click to open something, a link, right? So I'm going to click on the branding course, for example, and this will should bring me to my landing page on Udemy. Uh, it doesn't because I'm actually already logged into this course, but if I click and open, can I open this in the, I will copy the link to show you what it should look like in a uh, incognito mode because I'm already logged in the course. That's why it doesn't bring me to the landing page. It brings me inside the course, but this is what you would see if you would click on this document. So pretty cool uh, little feature here inside Canva that allows us to create clickable PDFs. This is very powerful to include in project, pr uh, project proposals, but also yeah, you can create like a ton of different applications with this. Uh, you could create um, clickable presentations, for example, or a table of content for a book or for something like that. So this is an amazing feature that only works for PDFs and export as a website as for now. So don't try to do this with PNG or uh, JPEG because it won't work. So that's it for today. I hope you learned how to insert links in your design. Again, just simply create an element and then add your link using this little link icon right here and you can change it. Um, also, if you have one photo, you can only paste one link per element. So um, that's why I created four boxes here in this example. I hope you like this video and uh, I will see you in the next video.